Hello everyone, it's Favor from Cuisines and Wellness. I am a lover of health and everything health related. To our returning subscribers, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Today, I'll be talking about effect of sugar on the brain. The brain is the organ that serves as the center of the nervous system in all vertebrates. It controls most of the activities of the body. The brain processes, integrates, and coordinates the information it receives from the sense organs like the eyes, nose, tongue, ears, and hands, and also making decisions as to the instructions sent to the rest of the body. The brain is the organ that uses more energy than any organ in the human body, and glucose that we briefly talked about in our previous video is the primary source of energy for the brain. Excess consumption of sugar can cause negative effects to the brain and those negative effects include 1. Sugar addiction I know a lot of people will be surprised and curious on how the sugar containing foods that we consume can cause addiction. Overconsumption of sugar creates a perpetual cycle of intense craving. Sugar is as addictive as cocaine and it stimulates the same pleasure centers in the brain as cocaine, sometimes even more. When we consume sugar, it activates the tongue taste receptor signals to the brain. The gut and the brain will work together in turn releasing dopamine into the blood. The more sugar we eat, the more dopamine is released and you experience that high and just like these drugs, Getting off sugar leads to symptoms of intense withdrawal, hunger, and restlessness. The dopamine receptors in the brain will become less sensitive to the presence of sugar with time. Your brain will need more sugar to generate the same high and your addiction to sugar grows stronger. Mass insulin is secreted to drop the blood sugar levels. Insulin stores sugar as fat in the liver and the blood sugar levels drops rapidly and this can lead to cravings, increased appetite and binge eating. Next is memory impairment. Even a single instance of elevated glucose in the bloodstream can be harmful to the brain resulting in slowed cognitive function and deficits in memory and attention. According to research, Memory damage caused by sugar consumption can be reversed by following a low sugar, low glycemic diet like eating more green vegetables, more fruits, raw carrots, kidney beans and lentils. Mood affection. Excess sugar consumption affects mood. Patients with type 2 diabetes reported increased feelings of sadness and anxiety during acute hyperglycemia, meaning elevated blood sugar. Excess sugar consumption has been associated with a greater incidence of depression, especially in women. Mental capacity hindrance. Frequent exposure to high glucose level diminishes mental capacity as higher glycated hemoglobin, which is the average blood sugar concentration in the person with diabetes for approximately the preceding three months, has been associated with a greater degree of brain atrophy, that is reduction in size of the brain. Dementia or Alzheimer's disease, a syndrome in which there is a decline in memory thinking, behavior, and ability to perform everyday activities. A diet high in added sugar reduces the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, a brain chemical essential for new memory formation and learning. Lower levels of this BDNF, which is the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, are linked to dementia and Alzheimer's disease. There are important tips on how to protect your brain from sugar damage. 
one reduce refined carbohydrates and your glycemic loads so eat less of bread pasta cereals processed grain fruit juice and eat more of fruits and vegetables like cucumbers apple pear cabbage and orange next increase whole foods when you reduce refined carbohydrates in your diet you can replace it with whole foods like fiber proteins healthy fats greens eggs vegetables so instead of having a bowl of cereal for breakfast try replacing half of the cereal with blueberries this slow down how quickly the glucose enters your bloodstream let's not forget about exercise Exercise has been proven to lower blood sugar and insulin levels. Regular exercise will help your muscles to use the glucose in the blood. Exercise also helps to increase your blood flow to the brain. This helps your brain to get the necessary oxygen and nutrients it needs to function. And lastly, discover your insulin resistance level. Insulin resistance is when cells in the muscles fat and liver don't respond well to insulin and can't use glucose from the blood for energy to make up for it the pancreas will make more insulin and over time the blood sugar levels goes up insulin resistance can be a risk factor in dementia testing your blood levels for glucose insulin triglyceride hdl meaning high density lipoprotein and keeping your food diary for a week to see how much sugar and refined carbohydrates you consume is very important. An ideal goal will be to have 20 grams or less of sugar per meal. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. More of this health series will be coming soon, so you can leave your areas of interest and questions below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends and loved ones. Thank you for watching. Be happy. Bye.